Yeah, I'm John Stroya, president of Gunabo North America and Hamilton Safe. Yeah, so we produce uh, all kinds of equipment for banking, so safes, vaults, pneumatic systems, so drive up equipment, bullet resistor products, windows, things like that. And then we also have a, a government container business, so we make file cabinets, weapons containers, and so forth for the U.S. government to their specification. So Hamilton's been around since 1967 and it's had several locations. So when I got here, we had active factories in Mason and in Amelia and actually one in Batavia. And we needed to consolidate those facilities. So we really were looking somewhere on the east side of Cincinnati so that it was kind of as, as in the middle between our factories as possible so that um, we would minimize associates drives and and also we just didn't want people to leave. So we really focused on kind of the Milford eastern side of Cincinnati to try to find a location. Yeah, we went to the Cincinnati Nature Preserve over here and as we were coming back we drove by this piece of land. It was a field and uh, I thought wow that'd be a great place for a factory. Uh, I wonder you know if, if they'd ever sell it. So. I asked our real estate representatives to call the owner, and they did, and it just so happened the owner was thinking about selling it. So the timing really worked out pretty well. And that was before I, I didn't know anything about what kind of utilities it had or anything like that. It was just, you know, it just worked out that way. So, you know, we started this whole thing off um, uh, by working with a great uh, contractor, Cincinnati Commercial Contracting great uh, real estate group, CBRE, and then we engaged some local uh, government help. We started off with Ready Cincinnati, and then uh, we got um, the Union Township Economic Development involved and Claremont County Economic Development involved, and also Jobs Ohio. Uh, they actually gave us part of a loan. And really those groups working together put together a, um, uh, an incentive package for us. This is a great location, but it, it, it did not have sewer, it did not have gas, didn't have the right uh, kind of electric out here. So some of the infrastructure that we required or anybody that would move out here required wasn't here. They put together a package that offered those utilities and, and infrastructure and got it done very quickly because we really broke ground within a month or two of af after getting the incentive package and uh, everybody pulled together and did a great job to get it all done. I, I you know, as I said at our grand opening, really this is a great success story of the public and private groups working together to, to have, have something from scratch come up out of the ground, you know, so um, I really think it worked well and everybody was on it. They're very proactive.